be the superpower to create any superpower. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ron Guerin. I'm a former NASA astronaut. I did three missions with NASA, uh, two of them in space, one on the bottom of the ocean. Weightless freedom, the unbelievable view of our planet, and just the camaraderie of working and living in space with people from different nationalities and backgrounds and culture. Mathematically speaking, it doesn't make any sense that there wouldn't be any other intelligent life in the universe. Do I think that they visit us regularly and uh, work in the local supermarket? I don't think that's the case at all. be the superpower to create any superpower. <laughs> Positive, restorative, inspirational, visionary, and inclusive. One of the things that we learned by the International Space Station Partnership is that we had different perspectives on things. And the problem with our society right now is we see different perspectives as a threat. What we fail to realize is that the very diversity of our perspectives is a strength. And that is a proven method of successful international collaboration. We face a lot of critical challenges and problems as a species on this planet. We live in this really polarized, really, really divisive world. That has a zero-sum game mindset. One is fear and the other one is on wonder. But only on wonder motivates long-term action, encourages rational thought and cooperation and collaboration and self-sacrifice for a higher good. And what we need to do is move away from these fear-based mentalities. And that's why the space program is such a good example. When you have people that are in camps, right, and, and there's this little pocket of innovation here that's not talking to this pocket of innovation there, they might have great developments in technology, but nowhere near the investment of technology if those innovative hubs are talking to each other. Technology advancement is going to be a, a big part of our future. Um, we're seeing an, an explosion of technological innovation. But in spite of that, I'm not of the opinion technology by itself is going to solve our problems. It's not. What is going to solve our problems is a new perspective at how we uh, cooperate and collaborate. Technology is a tool that humans can use to lead us towards the solution. And the other thing is that every Thing is deeply, deeply interconnected. And so we're not going to solve our environmental issues while we have hundreds of millions of people who don't know where their next meal is going to come from. I think until we have this mindset that we're all in this together, if, if what happens to one of us happens to all of us, none of those technologies will do any good if we don't first um, grow up as a species. <laughs> So my advice to future generations, first and foremost, is that you are more powerful than you can imagine. My New Year's wish for everyone watching this interview is that all of us, each and every one of us, can harvest uh, all the hard work, all the suffering uh, that we've been through over the past two pandemic years. And so I hope that 2022 becomes a shining light and we're into a new dawn, a new wonderful dawn.